Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video, I guess, tutorial and review on this one. Um, I'm going to kind of go back a little ways uh, to a review I did a while back on my Apple TV. Now, this is a Generation 2 Apple TV. I don't have the third generation Apple TV. However, with the Gen 2, what you can do is you can actually jailbreak it and install various software. One of these softwares, the one I'm actually going to tutorial and review right now, it's called ATV Flash Black. Now, they make an ATV version for the older first generation Apple TVs, but this one's specifically going to be for the black, the black one for the well, black generation 2 Apple TV. Now they, as far as I'm aware, they still don't have one available for the third gen. Of course, that's when this video is being created. So, it all depends on which Apple TV you have, which one's going to work for you. Uh, so what we're going to go through is we're going to go through jailbreaking the Apple TV as well as installing the ATV Flash, which is basically pretty easy to do, to be honest. Um, uh, jailbreaking it through Season Pass is what I'm going to be using and uh, installing it, that'll be the tutorial side, and then showing you how it looks, and then if I don't do it in this same shirt, of course, you'll know that the review will have spanned after I get it more of a time to actually review it. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first things first. First, I have my Apple TV right here, the Apple TV 2, second gen, I guess, and uh, right now I'm on FireCore's website, which I've already purchased the uh, ATV Black software for my Apple TV, and uh, I'm about to do the first part. So obviously within the site itself, first is get all, getting all the files that you're going to need. Obviously if you need to purchase this, purchase this through FireCore. I've already purchased it, so I've already downloaded the ATV Flash Black, and I've placed it on my home site, on my, on my, uh, my, 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 my uh, desktop. If you open up that, basically they're going to have two things. First is the installation of Apple TV or the ATV for onto the Apple TV. Now you can't do this until you have the Apple TV cracked or I should say jailbreaked as well as connected to your network and connected shared to iTunes. So the first thing step is actually uh, jailbreaking it. If you actually on the within the file itself, it'll actually come with an install guide. If we actually open up that install guide, it's going to go over the pre-installation requirements, which obviously is an updated version, your latest version of iTunes, the latest version updated Apple TV 2, and of course the jailbreaking that you'll have to do prior to actually installing ATV. Jailbreaking with a season pass. There's a nice install guide here. Basically, it goes through the entire process, which I'm about to do myself. Um, I've only done it once before. This is quite a while ago, so I'm sure it's been updated a little bit since I've done it. Uh, as well as how to install ATV Flash Black. Now, the nice thing about this is it's not tethered. It's, it's you basically connect to your network and it does it all through iTunes. So through the sharing process. And then installing any extras and we'll get to that when we get to that. So we'll try to make this video as fast paced as I can to get cut out as much of the boring material as I can. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get right into and I'm going to actually shut that out. We're going to do Season Pass, which basically I'm going to double click on this guy. Oh, I'm sorry. Right click and open on Mountain Lion for the uh, nice thing and hit open. It's going to bring up. So I'm going to create an IPS. Dump. That's how we're going to actually uh, get the new Apple TV jailbreak broken. Now it's going to have to, right now it's actually downloading the restore the uh, the actual software that it's going to put onto the Apple TV for me in the jailbreaking format. So once it's done downloading, which shouldn't be too long, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now we're actually up to the uh, point where we need to connect the Apple TV. Now for this process, first actually the the uh, season pass actually downloaded the uh, actual restore point IPSW from Apple, then it actually cracked it added in its special coding to it and then repackaged it and now we're all connect ready so basically what it says right now is connect USB to the Apple TV and then once it actually starts flashing the little indicator on the front of the Apple TV starts flashing rapidly that's when we'll actually have to make sure you have this tool you have to actually have the small aluminum remote and we'll have to press the menu and the play pause button together for seven seconds once that happens that'll actually get us into the restore mode so, with that said, on the back of the Apple TV, there is a micro USB port. Uh, that's where you need a micro USB cable connect to your computer. So we'll, uh, and no power cable, by the way, just the USB cable. So we'll plug that into it. Now, thankfully, I have a nice one. Once it starts flashing r rapidly, right now, I'm going to hit both of these together for seven seconds.
and there we go. Now let's find a, dev a device in uh, the uh, restore mode, uh, uh, and now it's going to be uploading everything to the device, and it's going to do it all for me, which is fantastic. Now obviously, whenever you're doing this, you're going to want to make sure that any of your other Apple devices are not connected to your computer. That means iPod, iPhone, iPad. You do not want any of these devices connected while it's doing the restore, because that would be bad. Now, uh, I'm not saying that it would actually do it by itself, but we don't want to have anything wrongful happen. So, now it's doing everything for me. It's going to um, basically put the... It's, Apple TV is in recovery remote, remote and uh, as soon as uh, it's done, we'll be back. Okay, so we had a little hiccup in our whole system here, but we're going to go work through it here together, just in case you have the same thing happen to you. So my, uh, what Season Pass is telling me is iTunes Restore Script failed in selecting the IPSW in Finder. So we're going to try doing that manually, to be honest. So it actually opened up in Finder automatically from uh, what it actually looks like they modified today. So this should be the one that actually should have opened within iTunes itself. However, in order to make this easier finding, I'm going to take this and drag it to the desktop. Uh, it's the only IPSW file I have on the desktop, so it's pretty easy to find. So now I'm going to scroll over to iTunes, where it actually opened up automatically as well. I'm going to select the Restore Apple TV. However, before doing that, I'm going to hit uh, Command Option, and then click on Restore Apple TV. Then I'm actually going to be able to choose the actual Restore file myself. So I placed it on my desktop, which uh, there it is right there. And I'm going to open that up and uh, hit the restore button. Now it's going to do it itself. Obviously, probably most of the time it's going to have it's going to do it automatically for you, but in my situation it did not. So, hopefully that'll help with some of you if you have that problem. Okay. So, the restore point is done. I actually got a little a window here from iTunes saying that my Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. Of course, it's the hacked one. Uh, and uh, please disconnect the Apple TV from my computer. So, we will do exactly what it says and disconnect and now we'll actually head over to the TV and continue from there. Okay, so here I am back at the TV. I have my Apple TV. I'm going to go ahead and plug in all my connections right now and get everything set. I'm going to do my power last. Right now I have my Ethernet as well as my audio, my optical audio cable, my HDMI cable, and my power thing. Power cord last. Now I'm a big believer in uh, networking hardwire so that's why I have an ethernet cable there for it so once uh, she's up and running we'll continue to the next step so here we are in the standard Apple TV startup menu we're gonna select English because well that's what I speak can't do anything about that um, and then once we uh, get connected to the internet which is pretty much not too long it's gonna authenticate now it's gonna ask you if you would like to have Apple TV, uh, connect to your stuff and find out more information about you. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I've restarted or redone this a couple times. So. Last time I did it, this time, eh, whatever. No thanks. Maybe it's best because I have it jailbroken. Uh, so obviously right now it's just like you normally would find it. Uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have... Actually, there's the... You can tell that we're actually jail season pass right now because the settings logo is now changed to the FC logo. So we're going to head and go into settings because this is going to be the next step we're going to have to do. We're going to have to go down to uh, AirPlay, make sure that AirPlay is on, which it is. Uh, and then we're going to go to computers and actually turn on home sharing. Now with this, you'll actually have to sign in with your Apple ID and password, which I'm going to do right now and uh, not bore you with this. So I have my username password entered. I hit submit on that. And uh, we should be able to uh, say, yes, I want to enable that. Home sharing is on. And now we have it on. So obviously we would say turn on if it was on, off. So we have home sharing on. Everything should be good to go. And uh, we're going to step over to the computer for the last part. So here we are back exactly where we were. I have uh, my season pass, which we have already finished that. Everything worked beautifully. Everything's working awesome. Yeah, the second one, like I showed you at the first beginning, is the Apple TV Flash Black, or ATV Flash Black, um, and this is where the actual software is going to be. So we're actually going to, this time, rather than go to the install mode guide, we're just going to go right to this and double click on it. Uh, it's going to, oh, it's going to be the same error. Obviously, I have Mountain Lion. I have to right click and open, and then hit open again. Uh, just saying that uh, we'll run a program that can determine if it can be installed. We're just going to run through the standard licensing agreements, 
um, making sure that everything's going to install in the right location, and then of course I need my password. Now we're going to go ahead and install software. Uh, now, Apple uh, device list. Now I only have one Apple TV, so this is going to be the only one that's going to pop up. However, it's found it automatically on the network because we have sharing enabled. I'm going to hit continue. It's now going to transfer the files to that Apple TV for the necessary other items that we're going to be able to do with it. So once it's done, we'll be back. Okay, so there we have it. That's Apple TV Flash. That's the installation part of it. Um, Basically, as soon as it got done here, my Apple TV kind of did a really quick uh, refresh, not really a reboot, just a quick refresh of the home site, and we'll go out back in there, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. But uh, basically, you're done with your computer. So here it is. Here's the new cracked Apple TV, I guess, with ATV Flash installed on the system. Obviously, everything looks normal. Uh, the settings icon even went back to the standard configuration uh, con or, uh, cog I guess however we did add something and that's right here the triple cog one the one that they call maintenance maintenance is basically allowing you to change the various options you have enabled that ATV flash came with or that's obviously the per way the reason that you purchased ATV flash was to install these options so let's go ahead and go in and into maintenance and take a peek first we're going to have managing extras. Now these are going to be the things that you would install on the device. Uh, from Couch Surfer Pro, which is, uh, I believe actually Firecore creates it. It's their web server basically. Or their, uh, I'm sorry, their uh, web browser. They're being able to actually Google search, actually surf the internet through a browser. That's what Couch Surfer Pro is. Uh, Last.fm, obviously, exactly what it is. It's the uh, being able to access FM radio directly through the Apple TV. Uh, your favorite stations, display artists, things like that. Obviously, last FM on your TV. Maintenance, which we already have installed. That's basically how you get to these extras and everything. Media player. That's actually a media player that they that they build specifically for the ATV Flash to be able to play more than just the standard M4V format or M4As and AAC formats that the the Apple TV plays plays uh, from from iTunes and other sources. This basically expands that AVI, I believe, is one of them, and there's a several different formats. Remote HD, obviously Apple has their remote, own remote app, and it works great, but uh, supposedly well, remote HD is actually above and beyond. Not only, I believe, it's a, it's a remote app, but I think it's like $8, and it also allows you to control not only the Apple TV, but your computer as well, as well as it's a VNC client for your computer. So, neat little app. Um, RSS feeds allows you to actually uh, access your RSS feeds for your daily news and information, as well as weather, which is pretty much self-explanatory as well. Get weather for your from your or for your city or your area right away. There are other third-party apps that Firecore didn't create. Air control is actually a way that you can actually control the Apple TV with other remotes other than this or your iPhone or iPod Pad or iPod. Um, there's a few different options, but basically allow you to control the Apple TV with third-party apps or, or uh, devices. Nano TV is another one of those services that you can get um, RSS weather forecasts. I think that actually has a media player built into it as well. I'm not as familiar with it, but of course in the coming future I will be. Plex Client is just that. It's actually a, a way for you to actually access your Plex server off your computer. Now, if you're not familiar with Plex, check them out. Um, I've played with them a few times in the past. I haven't played with them probably for a good year now. So uh, I'll have to get updated on that and uh, try that out as well. Remote is another remote app that you can download for your phone. I think it's like 5 bucks or something like that. Uh, another way to control your Apple TV with your iPad or iPhone. And XBMC is a complete multimedia solution, or what they call multimedia center, for the Apple TV 2. It gives you a complete multimedia interface to access various content from your computer and other things. Now, this is the Apple TV 2. It is a 720p system. In the past, when I used XBMC, for instance, I have some... Obviously, the camcorder I'm recording this on is a 1080i video camera, actually, to be honest. And the files are pretty large, and the... A, A, or AVC format, AVC HD, so it never really played great on the TV. However, that said, we'll give her a try again, and not only with this, with the other media players as well. So, 
with that said, that is our solutions for that. You know, I thought before I go, I'm just going to show you how to install it really easy. So obviously we have the maintenance installed. I'm going to go ahead and install the Couchsurfer Pro. Basically, all you do is oh, click on it. It goes through the installation process, and as soon as it's done, uh, it says that a relaunch is required to make the changes take effect. It doesn't actually, uh, I don't believe it actually reboots the whole system. It just relaunches the, the uh, overlay. Our, uh, and uh, if we go down, we can see now the browser popped up just in front of maintenance. Let's go ahead and go into the browser and take a peek at what it looks like. Um, let's just go to hmm, Discovery. So it's loading. And there we go. Almost done. We were able to actually surf through the entire device. Obviously it's going to, depending on what you're using to access it right now, I'm just using it way everybody would normally be using it with the standard remote. Um, obviously if we, uh, if they ever enabled the Bluetooth feature with it built into the Apple TV, I could see a really good thing with the uh, keyboard and everything, and Apple maybe actually putting Safari on here and really expanding what it could do. And of course, if they offer that, then HTV could bring it, you know, use their web browser and still be able to use all the functions of the keyboard and maybe a trackpad and everything. I don't know. You never know. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the web browser. And of course, if I hit the menu button, I can go back out and just back back out all the way so go back to the main page and that's that so obviously I have a lot of things to go through before I can actually finish up a, a full-blown review and I'm kinda of debating right now whether to actually separate this video into just two complete videos one is just the tutorial one is the review later um, I don't know yet so we'll uh, stay tuned and obviously if you see this and there's no review afterwards or you look at the title of it You'll know exactly what I chose. So, But I have a lot of stuff to go over, and I don't want to do this within even a week, probably. So that's it. That's that. Okay. So while well, I uh, showed you how to get the uh, Apple TV jailbroken, as well as get ATV Flash Black installed on it, and kind of showing through the features that's going to be on my next video, which is probably going to be a couple weeks down the road for this one because I really want to get a nice feel for it. I've played with Rowan with it a little bit and there are some limitations, but I want to see if I can actually find a different way, to, a different avenue at least to see my different content that I have through the Apple TV. So with that said, thanks for watching. I appreciate all the support you guys have given me over the uh, last couple years I've been doing these and uh, I will keep them coming as far as long as I possibly can and as long as I have things to review and tell you about. So uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Comment below, subscribe above, and uh, tell your friends about this channel. And uh, if you have any uh, further comments and if you've caught anything that I've done that is incorrect, please let me know. I apologize for any of my nasally voice because of my fun nasal condition. And uh, hopefully it didn't sound like I needed to blow my nose the entire video. So that's for all you people that keep posting about that. It doesn't bother me, but uh, it's the truth. My nose sucks. Nothing I can do. It's the nose that God gave me. So, uh, With that said, appreciate everything, and uh, I'll be back sooner than later, hopefully, with the remainder of this video, which will be the actual review of ATV Flash. Maybe by then they will have updated it, and uh, well, we'll just have to see exactly what comes with, with up with that. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you again soon.